Hey guys, Half Grown. We got an interesting one for you today. You may have seen that DJI just recently released their uh, Goggles Race Edition. And if you watched that promo video, you saw a race, right, with their new video OcuSync system. And that race was between uh, a drone, a uh, fixed wing aircraft, a boat, an RC car. Um, and the winner of the race was something called the Phantom R. Well, guess what we got here? We got ourselves a Phantom R. Hey guys, we're gonna talk about a few things today. One, I'm gonna tell you all about this drone and what it really is. Uh, and I'm also gonna tell you a little bit about what DJI has already done uh, in terms of the FPB racing community, uh, what they need to do, and why they need to do it. All right, so let me just clear the air. No, DJI did not send us a Phantom R, which they did. Uh, but uh, we're gonna tell you a little bit about what this is. This is something we created based on some research that we did um, and what we know and what we want to see. So basically, we took a Phantom 4 uh, 350 and we scaled it down to about 220 and that's what this is gonna be and then we took some liberties and added our own few uh, touches as well all right so let's talk about our Phantom R now this is the first time we've uh, created a, a DJI drone before it came out if you remember uh, we did a CAD model the spark before the spark existed check it out it's pretty darn accurate uh, anyway so what is this uh, like like I said before we took the Phantom Four and we scaled it down. Now, uh, a lot of racers have the carbon fiber super light frames. Um, maybe DJI goes that route, or maybe they go something like this, where I think this is a concept where they make the dr drone super durable, right? You may have seen the video, there are drones that can get run over by cars, bulbous frame, carbon fiber, super durable. I'd like to see something like that. The drone. Uh, that DJI is going to create needs to be ultra durable. People don't want to be replacing things. We've done a lot of thrust testing on drones, race drones. They have thrust to weight ratios uh, in access of five to one. Uh, so you're gonna add a little bit of weight maybe. Uh, doesn't matter, probably not in the, in the end game. Now, um, are we going to take something with a little more weight on the uh, DRL circuit? Maybe not, but uh, I think DJI can produce a racer, an FPV drone for everybody, right? They, their drone, uh, the Spark was the drone for everybody. Let's make a racer for everybody as well. Let's talk about what DJI has already done uh, for the FPV racing community. They have uh, Talon Yessies, they've got snail motors, and they've got twist lock props that are quick and easy to get on and off should you break one. They also have the new OcuSync Video HD uh, digital transmission system. So they're sending a digital signal uh, from the camera to their goggles, right? They've got the new Race Edition goggles, which do also pick up an analog signal if you're flying that route. All right, so we think that digital FPV is the way that the future is going to go. You can multiplex. That means you can have multiple cameras on the same frequency. You're not gonna have people bleeding over your signal. So what happens when you race drones? You gotta bring the signal power or the signal strength down so that you don't you can fly a bunch of different people. Digital, you don't have that issue. Uh, also that digital signal, it's gonna be a lot crisper and cleaner uh, HD than uh, any analog signal you're gonna get. So obviously a bonus there as well. So let's talk about why DJI really needs, needs to get into racing. Um, you know, I'm gonna come up with a handful of uh, issues that these racers have right off the bat. Now, I love racing, don't get me wrong, but I think that the way that the hobby is right now, you are very limited uh, as to who's gonna get in here. I love the sport, I want people to get in, but um, you know, the issues with pairing, binding, clean flight, beta flight, building, all of that, soldering, who wants to do that? There's a very limited number of people that have the time, the knowledge, and the resources to be able to get into racing. I think DJI can fix a lot of those problems um, like they did with some of their other drones. We get a lot of racing drones, right? Whether you build it yourself or you buy it ready to go, the first thing you have to do is pair it to your remote. So you gotta make sure you have the right receiver to match to your remote, or you're gonna buy the right receiver and solder it on there. Then, once you've done that, hopefully that goes well, you gotta get into beta flight. You gotta make sure that everything is okay. You gotta make sure that uh, you know things aren't backwards. Then you gotta make sure your PIDs are all right. Then you gotta 
tune it and you gotta turn things on and off and sometimes you gotta program stuff. Why? Why does that have to happen? People don't wanna do that. People don't wanna spend time doing that. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I've done it plenty of times. It's not fun. Maybe some people enjoy it. That's not me. The thing is, it absolutely is limiting who can fly these things. All right, so where does DJI come in? How do they fix this? Well, first of all, they give you the drone and the remote already bound. They come together, it's a package, right? They do that already. You're not pairing your fandom to the remote, are you? Uh, then they have their own software. So if you want to customize things a little bit, maybe PIDs isn't the right way to deal with that. Listen, uh, my brother-in-law, he's an engineer. He's all sorts of smart. He doesn't want anything to do with the pits, right? It's a big old pain. So there's an easier way to tune your drones. Uh, DJI's got to figure that out as well. So yes, we want customizability. Uh, we want ease of use, right? That's why their Phantom uh, was a hit. It was easy to fly. Let's do that for racing. Phantom R. So what has DJI already done? They've got the motors. They've got the ESCs. They've solved the uh, video transmission with the better cameras. They've already got the good goggles. They've got better quick release, quick on off propellers. Now they fix the software issue, make it easy to use, come with the remote. Look, these things are going to be flying off the shelves. So this DJI Phantom Art does not exist yet, but we think it will. DJI knows what they're doing. Uh, it's going to hit the, shore, uh, the store soon. And we're going to be in line to pick one up. Hey, thanks for watching. We got lots of stuff on our website. You make sure you check that at halfchrome.com and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.